The historic covered bridges of Oregon represent an era that has long since gone, but thanks to the few wooden structures that remain standing, this era is not forgotten. 18 of Oregon's 52 historic covered bridges are featured here. Each bridge is a true one-of-a-kind with its own unique characteristics and framed in Oregon's lush scenic beauty. The Weddell Bridge was originally built in 1937, and for 50 years it spanned 120 feet across Thomas Creek. In 1980, the bridge was bypassed by traffic, only to be used by a few pedestrians. Lynn County Commissioners decided to dismantle the span, and in October of 1987, workers began to tear down the structure. As a result, most of the bridge was either too badly damaged for salvaging or had already been hauled away to be burned. Only the wooden trusses were saved. In 1989, a sweet home group known as the Cascade Forest Research Center was formed to salvage what was left and rebuild the span to its original beauty. Thanks to this group, the Weddell Bridge now rests across Ames Creek at Sankey Park in Sweet Home. The Good Pastor Bridge was designed by the State Highway Department and is one of the most beautiful covered bridges in the state. In 1938, Lane County spent $13,154 to construct this bridge that spans 165 feet across the McKenzie River in Vida. By the early 1980s, the bridge had become significantly weakened by age and traffic. It was rumored that a new concrete span would be built to replace the weakened bridge, but instead, Lane County agreed to make repairs on and around the bridge to strengthen it and improve conditions in the surrounding area. work was completed that included renovations to handle the daily traffic of cars and log trucks, a right turn lane for traffic exiting Highway 126 onto the bridge, and a concrete retaining wall along the north bank of the McKenzie River. An estimated $750,000 was spent to complete this work. The Rochester Bridge was constructed in 1933. It spans 80 feet across the Kalapuya River, just three miles northwest of Sutherland, and is unique among covered bridges because of its side windows having curved tops. Like the majority of Oregon's historic covered bridges, this bridge features the Howe Truss. Designed by William Howe in 1840, the distinctive feature of the Howe Truss design is the iron stress rods that give support to the wooden truss members. These vertical rods can be adjusted to tighten the critical bridge truss joints. This design greatly increases not only the strength of the bridge, but also increases its life expectancy.
The Rochester Bridge was built by veteran builder Floyd Freer and was remodeled in 1969, receiving new portal boarding, approaches, and abutments. Located near Sayo, the Gilkey Bridge once stood next to a covered railroad bridge. In 1961, the railroad bridge was removed, and since then, the Gilkey Bridge has spanned across Thomas Creek alone. Gilkey was once a town that served as a shipping point for farm products. It was established when the railroad arrived in 1880. Now, all that remains are a faded sign and the Gilkey Bridge itself. With the increased traffic and use of larger farm equipment, the county may be forced to realign the road or replace the bridge. In the past, Lynn County has provided maintenance for the bridge that included replacing skirting boards, roofing, floor beams, and pilings. Located three miles north of Lacombe, the Larwood Bridge has a beautiful picnic area surrounding it, making this bridge a popular retreat on weekends. This attractive bridge spans 105 feet across Crabtree Creek, which is fed by Roaring River. Oddly, this is the only river that flows into a creek in the entire United States. The Larwood community was named for William Larwood, who settled on the banks of Crabtree Creek and Roaring River in 1888. A covered bridge was built during this time, but now the town and the old bridge are gone. Only this bridge and the rebuilt water-powered mill remain. The office bridge, found in the town of West Fur, was built in 1944 and features a separate covered walkway to the side of the main traffic roadway. Its unique name was given because it was once the site of a mill pond and connected the mill and its office. This bridge was originally built to accommodate the heavy load of log trucks going across it. The truss members are large with multiple steel tension rods and compound cord members. Another unique feature of the office bridge is its length. It is the longest of Oregon's historic covered bridges, spanning 15 feet longer than the 165-foot Goodpaster Bridge in Vida.
The Curran Bridge is found southeast of Cottage Grove and crosses the Rau River. It is 105 feet long and is the only Lane County covered span with white portals and red sides. In 1883, the first covered bridge was built at this site by Nels Roney at a total cost of $1,935. In 1925, Lane County considered contracting for a new bridge to be built at the same site. The lowest bid came to $6,250, and the county decided it could save money by building the bridge itself. Under the supervision of Miller and Walter Sorensen, the county employees constructed the bridge at a total cost of $4,025, saving the county $2,495. In 1979, the county closed the bridge to traffic after a modern concrete span was built just next to it. resident Gordon Short. The Short Bridge is one of the few bridges in Lynn County with a wooden shingle roof and is the only covered bridge left that crosses the South Fork of the Santiam River. Over the years, this structure has received regular maintenance which includes new approaches, roofing, and paint. During the summer of 1988, the bridge was closed for a period of time so repairs to the beams and flooring could be done. The short bridge rests in peaceful surroundings east of Sweet Home in Cascadia and still assists log trucks across the Santiam River. found just two miles west of Alsea and spans 91 feet across the Alsea River. It is one of the oldest covered bridges in Oregon. Originally built in 1918, it was rebuilt in 1945. During this time, the portals were changed from the original rounded design to the current style in order to make way for larger loads coming through the bridge. The interior is illuminated by daylight window strips below the roof line on both sides. Built in 1929 by Robert Lancaster, the Roaring Camp Covered Bridge spans 88 feet across Elk Creek, just six miles west of Drain. While the flood of 1964 washed out many of the state's bridges and destroyed both approaches to this bridge, it still remains standing, although desperately in need of repair and restoration. Local residents have remained faithful to this piece of Oregon history by trying to convince Douglas County that the bridge is worth saving. They want the county to assume responsibility for the span. 
In the meantime, residents in the area share in the expense of repair, mostly to approaches and railings. Located near remote, the Sandy Creek Covered Bridge is considered short in comparison to most of Oregon's covered bridges. At 60 feet in length, this bridge features two crossed Howe truss members on each cord, which is rare among the shorter covered spans. Creek Bridge was bypassed from Oregon Highway 42. In late 1981, it was decided to develop a park at the site and use the bridge as a covered picnic area. The park was dedicated in 1984, and with a new roof, boards, and white paint, the Sandy Creek Bridge stands as a beautiful reminder of Oregon's past history. The North Fork of the Yahats Bridge was built in 1938 and cost Lincoln County $1,500 to have veteran builder Otis Hamer construct it. In 1987, the bridge was damaged when a loaded fuel truck trying to cross the bridge crashed through one of the weakened approaches. The county repaired the damage and now services the bridge with regular maintenance. In 1989, it received new trusses, approaches, a roof, and siding. The bridge was officially reopened in December 1989 during a dedication ceremony. Located just 1.5 miles from Jordan is the Hanna Covered Bridge, which spans 105 feet across Thomas Creek. Thomas Creek was named for Frederick Thomas, who in 1846 settled on the banks of the creek. In 1853, John Joseph Hanna arrived by wagon train. He was granted a 151-acre tract of land bounded by Thomas Creek and Bilyeu Creek. Hannah built one of the first sawmills in that area, which was powered by water from the creek. The Hanner Covered Bridge has received a new roof, flooring, paint, and new portal boards. The Lowell Bridge was constructed in 1945 at a cost of $25,473 to replace a previously damaged covered bridge at the same site. In 1953, the bridge was raised six feet in anticipation of the flooding produced by the Dexter Dam. Luckily, estimates were correct. Since then, water has never risen closer than two feet from the bottom of the bridge.
traffic was bypassed from the Lowell Bridge when a new concrete span was built parallel to it. Prior to the closure, a dump truck traveling through the bridge with its bed raised damaged the span extensively. Lane County made repairs to the bridge and a few weeks later it was bypassed. Originally built in 1892, the Weimer Covered Bridge was replaced in 1927 by the Hartmans of Jacksonville. This span, located in Weimer, features a shingle roof, daylight windows below the roof line, wooden flooring, and a queen post truss design. The queen post truss was an attempt to diminish the size of the long diagonal members of the king post design. The queen post is an extended king post, generally with two uprights instead of one, connected by an upper cord. The North Fork Yahats, Antelope Creek, Lost Creek, and Weimer Bridges are the only spans with the queen post design in Oregon. In 1962, the Weimer Covered Bridge was saved when local residents fought to start a rebuilding program of the weakened span. In 1985, the bridge received new floor beams, needle beams, flooring, roofing, and paint. After the Dorina Dam was constructed in 1946, plans were made to build a bridge at the upper end of the reservoir that would span the Rau River. In 1948, Government Road was completed along the West Bank and a year later, at a cost of $16,547, the Dorina Covered Bridge was built. In 1974, the bridge was bypassed by a concrete span. In 1987, the asphalt flooring was removed. The future looks promising for the Dorina Covered Bridge, with repairs being planned so that the bridge may be reopened to traffic. There may be plans of making a park at the bridge site. Originally spanning 90 feet across Thomas Creek, east of Sayo, the Jordan Bridge was moved to Staten after a threat of being replaced in 1986. A group known as the Jordan Bridge Company was formed, and with the help of numerous volunteers and Marine Corps reservists from the 6th Engineering Battalion in Salem, the span is now rebuilt and sits across the Salem Power Canal connecting two parks. Commemorative bricks with inscribed names of people who donated financially to the project make up part of the approaches to the bridge's interior.
A dedication ceremony for the beautiful span in June of 1988 featured speeches, acknowledgement of individuals for their hard work, a ribbon cutting to dedicate the structure, and a Marine Corps band providing the musical fanfare. Spanning 120 feet over the McKinsey River is the Belknap Covered Bridge. This location has featured a covered bridge continually since 1890. In 1911, the first bridge was replaced by Lane County with another covered span. The third span was erected in 1939 and was destroyed 25 years later during the Christmas flood of 1964. Two years later, in 1966, the Belknap Covered Bridge was opened to assist traffic over the McKinsey River. Several years later, the louvered windows were added to give better illumination to the interior and eliminate the box look of a span without windows. Since the removal of the Horse Creek Bridge in 1988, the Belknap Bridge is the most eastern covered bridge in Lane County. The Stewart Covered Bridge is located three and a half miles southeast of Cottage Grove and spans 60 feet across Mosby Creek. The lower cords of this bridge were damaged by the strong force of water flowing down Mosby Creek during the heavy rains of the 1964 Christmas flood. The span again suffered extensive damage in 1968 when a snowstorm caused the roof bracing to fail due to the weight of the snow accumulation and the entire roof caved in. The Stewart Bridge was bypassed in the mid-1980s when a new concrete span was built to take its place. Oregon's only steel bridge housed in wood is the Milo Academy Covered Bridge. Built in 1962 and found east of Canyonville, this span was constructed to replace a wooden covered bridge at the same site. Originally, this steel bridge was not designed to be a covered span, but residents in the community wanted to recapture the identity that the old covered bridge provided to the area. The steel structure was then modified to accommodate the wooden housing that is now displayed over the South Umpqua River. Currently, 
The bridge is owned and maintained by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Constructed in 1954, the Irish Bend Covered Bridge originally spanned across the Willamette Slough on Irish Bend Road, south of Corvallis. In 1975, the road was realigned and the bridge slowly deteriorated until being totally dismantled in 1988. An agreement was reached between Benton County and Oregon State University to reconstruct the bridge on OSU property near Corvallis. $30,000 was raised by the Irish Bend Advisory Committee, and Benton County matched the amount to pay for the relocation of the span. The Irish Bend Covered Bridge is now part of a bicycle and pedestrian path that runs along Oak Creek on the west side of the Oregon State University campus. Located just northwest of Silverton, the Gallon House Bridge stands proudly as the only remaining covered bridge in Marion County. This bridge received its unusual name when it was used by a nearby liquor dispensary for hiding gallon jugs of white lightning to be made available to the residents of Silverton. At the time, liquor was not allowed to be sold in the town. The supply came from nearby Mount Angel, where the brew was legal and could be left at the north entrance of the bridge where it stood along Abiqua Creek in Mount Angel territory. The Gallon House has suffered considerable damage in the past, and in 1985 it was closed to traffic when a damaged cord made the bridge unsafe for use. The county eventually repaired the damage and changed the size and shape of the portals. Spanning 96 feet across the Yoquina River is the Chitwood Covered Bridge. This bridge was originally built in 1926 and in its early years was part of a thriving community supported by the logging industry. The Chitwood area was also an important railroad stop for steam locomotives coming from Yoquina to Corvallis. In 1982, it was announced that the Chitwood Covered Bridge was damaged and would need to either be repaired or completely replaced. After a public hearing, it was decided to complete repairs to the span. Aubrey Mountain Construction was contracted to do the work. Supervision was provided by John Gilliland, who in 1966 helped build the Belknap Bridge in Lane County. By the end of 1983, the project was finished with a total cost exceeding $240,000.
Lane covered bridge is found near the town of Myrtle Creek and being one of Oregon's shortest bridges spans 42 feet across Myrtle Creek. This bridge is unique because it is the only covered bridge in Oregon using the King Post design. The King Post truss has a center upright post with two diagonals and a bottom cord forming a triangle. The stress is shared evenly with all the timbers in compression together. The Neal Lane Bridge also features crosswise plank flooring, single rectangular windows on both sides, and a metal roof. Located in the town of Drain is the Pass Creek Covered Bridge. This 61-foot span is listed as being built in 1925. However, the Umpqua Historic Preservation Society claims it was constructed in 1906. It is possible that the bridge was either rebuilt or replaced in 1925 with evidence of holes in the lower cords showing that parts may have been salvaged from other bridges. A concrete span now crosses Pass Creek where the covered bridge once stood. its roof and sides were removed in order for the bridge to be relocated just one block away where it now rests behind the Civic Center in Drain. The Wendling Covered Bridge is found northeast of Marcola and spans 60 feet across Mill Creek. In 1938, Lane County spent $2,241 to build this bridge which uses single piece cords for the Howe Truss. The Windling Covered Bridge received a fresh coat of paint in 1987 and is continually maintained by county crews. Spanning 
75 feet across Mary's River, the Harris Bridge features a shingled roof, narrow windows below the roof line, wooden plank flooring, and rounded portals. The Harris Bridge is named after the community where it is located. When the post office was originally established, residents wanted to name the town after a pioneer landowner by the name of Harris. Postal officials opposed this because of possible confusion with nearby Harrisburg. The town was given the name Elam, named after Gladys Elam. Satisfying the residents' original wishes, the town's name was later changed to Harris. The Fisher-covered bridge is found east of Yahats and spans 72 feet over five rivers. The name Five Rivers was chosen because of the five separate streams that flow into it. These five creeks are Cougar, Buck, Cherry, Crab, and Alder Creek. This bridge is sometimes referred to as the Fisher School because of the nearby Fisher Elementary School. In the past, two other shorter covered bridges existed in the Five Rivers area. The Buck Creek Bridge, two miles north of Fisher, and the Cascade Creek Bridge, two miles west of Fisher. Both bridges were only 36 feet long. The Fisher Covered Bridge still receives maintenance from the County Road Department, which averages about $800 per year. The Crawfordsville Covered Bridge spans the Kalapuya River and is found eight miles southeast of Brownsville in the town of Crawfordsville. In 1963, the bridge was bypassed and title to the span was given to the Lynn County Parks Department. Very little was done to maintain the bridge until 1976, when crews involved with the filming of a television movie called The Flood painted the span. In 1986, volunteers from the Covered Bridge Society of Oregon cleaned away brush and weeds that had grown around the bridge. The portals of this bridge were originally rounded, but later changed by state highway employees to allow for larger loads coming through the bridge. was constructed in 1932 by Doc Fortner and his wife. The bridge spans 66 feet over the South Yamhill River and is located on farmland just north of Grand Ronde. Fortner made the cords for this queen post truss bridge by cutting the trees and forming the logs into 12 inch by 12 inch timbers using an adze and broad axe. The bridge was originally constructed to allow for dairy livestock to safely cross the river below, but today both entrances to the span are enclosed.
Built in 1920 by Walter and Miller Sorensen, the Mosby Creek Covered Bridge is Lane County's oldest remaining span. This bridge is found east of Cottage Grove and crosses 90 feet over Mosby Creek. With modifications to the basic Howe truss design, the span features spliced cords and steel rod cross braces on the upper cords. The bridge receives regular maintenance with county crews replacing approaches, repairing the wooden piers, and painting the exterior. Spanning 75 feet across the Mohawk River is the Ernest Covered Bridge. This bridge was used in the filming of the 1960s movie, Shenandoah. During the filming, changes were made to the architecture to make it resemble a bridge during the Civil War era. After the project was finished, the movie company restored this span to its original look by adding new siding and fresh paint in 1965. The Adams Covered Bridge, which originally stood at this site, just northeast of Marcola, was replaced by the Ernest Covered Bridge in 1938. At that time, Lane County spent $2,449 to have the new bridge built and $72 for the dismantling of the old span. Built in 1930, the Horse Creek Covered Bridge originally spanned Horse Creek in eastern Lane County. It was bypassed by a concrete span in 1968 and stood unused until being removed in 1986. The trusses were stored and plans made to eventually rebuild the span in Cottage Grove. Interest grew among citizens of Myrtle Creek to have the covered bridge rebuilt there as part of a theme for the Mill Site Park. With the help of locally donated materials and many hours of hard work by volunteers, the Horse Creek Covered Bridge stands as a proud historical attraction. Spanning 130 feet over Thomas Creek is Lynn County's newest and longest covered bridge, the Shimonic. This bridge features red exterior paint and louvered windows. These details make the Shimonic Bridge unique among all other Lynn County covered spans.
It is believed that the first bridge at this location was constructed as early as 1861. The first documented span was built here in 1891 at a cost of $1,150. In 1904, the county rebuilt the bridge, and 17 years later, floods washed the bridge out. The span was replaced, and in 1962, damage to the structure during the Columbus Day storm limited traffic through the bridge to one lane. Later, the span was destroyed and the current structure was completed in 1966. This is the fifth covered bridge to serve at this location. Located east of Roseburg is the Cabot Creek Bridge. This bridge features portals shaped to accommodate log trucks with large loads traveling through the span. Three windows and long narrow openings just above the roof line on each side of the bridge provide for daylight and ventilation to the interior. was constructed by famous Douglas County builder Floyd Freer and crosses 70 feet over Little River at the junction with Cabot Creek. The Parvin Covered Bridge is located northeast of Cottage Grove and spans 75 feet over Lost Creek. In the mid-1970s, the bridge was bypassed when the county realigned the road, leaving it to be used for pedestrian traffic only. Several years later, the county decided to reopen the span. In November of 1986, a dedication ceremony was held at the newly renovated bridge. Attending the celebration were two granddaughters of James and Selena Parvin, who lived in the area during the 1850s. Shortly after the dedication ceremony, new approaches to the bridge were completed, and by the end of that year, the Parvin Covered Bridge was once again used by traffic. Wildcat Covered Bridge spans 75 feet over Wildcat Creek and is found approximately 10 miles east of Mapleton.
The world guide number for the Wildcat Covered Bridge is 37-20-4. These three identifying numbers represent the state, county, and serial number of that particular bridge. Oregon being the 37th state in the U.S. alphabetically, and Lane County being the 20th county in Oregon alphabetically. All of Oregon's covered bridges found in Lane County, for example, will have the numbers 37-20. In some instances, a covered span will have a world guide number ending with a letter, indicating the bridge does not use a true truss for support. The Milo Academy covered bridge, for example, has a world guide number of 37-10-A. The Chambers Covered Railroad Bridge was built in 1936, spans 78 feet over the Coast Fork of the Willamette River, and is the only remaining covered railroad bridge in Oregon. The truss members are large, with three steel rods to connect the upper and lower cords. Five steel rods hold the vertical truss members on each side of the bridge. The span was originally built to accommodate steam engines pulling logging trains to the Frank Chambers Mill in Cottage Grove. As a result of the sawmill burning in 1943, the bridge served a short life of only seven years. Since being abandoned, the span has been targeted by arsonists, but fortunately has never been completely destroyed by their heartless acts. Found just eight miles from the California border, the McKee Covered Bridge spans 122 feet over the Applegate River. This bridge was constructed by Jason Hartman and his son Wesley. It is named after Aldelbert McKee, who donated the land that the span was built on. By 1956, the bridge had become too weak to safely provide for traffic going through it. In 1965, the roof was restored, making it safe again for pedestrian use only. By the early 1980s, Jackson County became concerned about the strength and safety of the bridge. The county dedicated more than $40,000 in labor and materials to repair the span and keep it open for pedestrian use. Later, the county announced that future investment in the bridge upkeep would be impractical. The McKee Committee was then formed with a goal to raise $25,000 for future maintenance of the span. Spanning 90 feet across Crabtree Creek and located one mile northeast of Crabtree is the Hoffman Covered Bridge. This bridge was constructed in 1936 by Lee Hoffman according to the State Highway Department specifications. 
The upper cords were made from logs cut nearby and shaped by using hand adzes. Most of the bridges constructed early on were built from logs fallen in the nearby area and then transported downstream to the actual bridge site. The Hoffman Covered Bridge features a metal roof and Gothic style windows. Built by Miller Sorensen in 1932, the Deadwood Covered Bridge is found approximately 12 miles north of Mapleton. The construction of the Deadwood Bridge is unique among Oregon's covered bridges because of the flooring being installed at a slant. This was done to help traffic coming around the corner onto the bridge travel more safely. The bridge was bypassed in the 1970s by a concrete span and very little upkeep was provided to the old structure until the early 1980s when county officials decided to restore the bridge. In 1986, the span received new siding, flooring, and portal boards along with approaches and roofing. A dedication ceremony in October 1986 celebrated the reopening of the bridge to traffic. The Unity Covered Bridge is located two miles north of Lowell in the community of Unity. The bridge spans 90 feet over Fall Creek and is near the Pengra, Lowell, and Parvin Covered Bridges. Lane County spent $4,400 in the construction of the Unity Bridge, which replaced an older span just three quarters of a mile upstream. The original covered span was built in 1890 and served as a footbridge from 1936 until being removed in 1953. The Unity Bridge features a window on the east side that runs the full length of the span. This unique design is a safety feature that provides motorists with a view of oncoming traffic approaching the bridge. The Coyote Creek Covered Bridge is 60 feet long and is located southwest of Eugene. The covered span is often referred to by two other names. One is the Battle Creek Bridge because it is located on Battle Creek Road. The other is the Swing Long Bridge because it was once given that name long ago.
During the winter of 1969, the entire roof of the Coyote Creek Bridge collapsed due to heavy snow accumulation of more than three feet. The bridge stood uncovered until county crews installed a new roof in early spring. From 1922 until 1987, the Antelope Creek Covered Bridge spanned 58 feet over Antelope Creek, just 10 miles southeast of Eagle Point. During this time, the span had become bypassed from traffic and serious deterioration occurred due to a leaky roof and insects invading the structure. In August of 1987, volunteers moved the covered span into the town of Eagle Point. A new roof and approaches were some of the improvements made to the bridge along with windows cut into the sides to allow for better visibility to the interior of the span. A dedication ceremony was held in December of 1987 for the rebuilt Antelope Creek Covered Bridge where it now spans the Little Butte Creek at Royal Avenue in Eagle Point. Lincoln County is home to the Drift Creek Covered Bridge, which is officially recognized as Oregon's oldest remaining covered span. The bridge was closed in early 1988 by the county because of extensive rot damage caused by the high water levels in Drift Creek that damaged the vital truss joints. In the summer of 1988, the county spent $20,000 to make repairs to the span but a complete renovation of the bridge estimated at $150,000 is needed. The Lost Creek Covered Bridge is located east of Medford and is the shortest of Oregon's covered bridges, spanning just 39 feet over Lost Creek. The bridge may also be the oldest covered span in the state. Many of the Jackson County residents insist that the bridge was constructed sometime around 1881. If authenticated, it would put the Lost Creek Bridge being built before the Drift Creek Covered Bridge, which has an official construction date of 1914. The Lost Creek span shows a construction date of 1919. The span may have only been rebuilt either partially or totally at that time. Features of the Lost Creek Covered Bridge are a shingle roof, flying buttress braces, and a queen post truss. Located near Mapleton, the Lake Creek Covered Bridge, or Nelson Creek as some refer to it, was built in 1928 and crosses 105 feet over Lake Creek.
Costing only $3,155 to construct this bridge, the single piece cords measure 14 inches by 14 inches by 111 feet long for the lower timbers and 12 inches by 12 inches by 79 feet long for the upper beams. After receiving a new center pier in 1984, the wooden flooring was replaced with precast concrete slab decking. Installation required the use of a crane to set the concrete in place. Wooden abutments and trestle approaches were also replaced with reinforced concrete. Located south of Dallas is the Rittner Creek Covered Bridge, which spans 75 feet across Rittner Creek. The State Highway Division decided to replace the span because it had become too dangerous for highway traffic. With the help of students and other Polk County residents, the bridge was saved when in 1976 two large cranes moved the span downstream about 60 feet to a newly developed park. The span now serves as a popular location for picnics and weddings. The portals of this bridge were once rounded, but changed to the current square design in the early 1960s to accommodate for larger trucks traveling through the bridge. Built in 1963, the Rock of the Range Covered Bridge is the only covered span in Oregon located on the east side of the Cascade Range. This privately owned structure is found just two miles north of Bend on Highway 97. Douglas fir timbers are placed on concrete pilings to support the bridge and small timbers have been added to help strengthen the span, but technically this bridge is not a truss supported structure. This is indicated for the Rock of the Range Covered Bridge by its world guide number ending with the letter A. Special features of this unique covered bridge, which crosses the Swally Canal, are a shingle roof, cedar siding, and windows. The Pengra Covered Bridge was built in 1938, spans 120 feet across Fall Creek, and is found southeast of Springfield on Place Road. This historic bridge features two of the longest timbers used in the construction of a covered bridge in Oregon. 
The timbers for the lower cords measure 16 inches by 18 inches by 126 feet, and the smaller upper cords measure 14 inches by 18 inches by 96 feet. These timbers were rough hewn in the woods and transported by truck to the bridge construction site where they were resurfaced and set into place. Since 1979, the Pengra covered bridge remained closed to traffic until recently being rehabilitated and reopened for use on November 15, 1994. The Grave Creek Covered Bridge is found just 15 miles north of Grants Pass in Sunny Valley. It spans 105 feet over Grave Creek and is Josephine County's only covered bridge. In 1846, the Applegate family led immigrants to the Oregon Territory through a newly explored southern route. A young woman by the name of Martha Leland Crowley traveled this route along with her family. During the journey, she became ill and died at the crossing of the stream. A coffin was made from a wagon box and the family buried her under a nearby oak tree. The stream was then named Grave Creek in remembrance of Martha Leland Crowley and gives tribute to the early pioneers of the Oregon Territory. Features of the Grave Creek Bridge are square portals, a metal roof, and Gothic-style windows. Two of Oregon's covered bridges not considered historic, but worth mentioning, are the Cedar Crossing Bridge, which was built in 1982 and spans 60 feet over Johnson Creek southwest of Gresham, and the Centennial Covered Bridge, found in Cottage Grove. This bridge was built in 1987, spans 84 feet over the Coast Fork of the Willamette River, and handles foot traffic only. Currently dismantled and eagerly waiting to be reconstructed is the Bohemian Hall covered bridge. The rebuilding of the span will begin during the spring of 1995 with plans to build it according to the original design. This will include a shake roof and wooden siding. Labor and materials have been donated to complete the project with help from Albany JCs and the Oregon National Guard. The Bohemian Hall covered bridge was originally built in 1947 and spanned 120 feet over Cox Creek on Richardson Gap Road in Lynn County. <laughs>